the biggest trick of the devil was to convince us that church and state should be separated. But watch this. Scripture reveals that God's kingdom principles are meant to govern all aspects of our life, including politics. As believers, we are called to ensure that earthly laws, watch this, and leaders reflect the will of God, uniting the spiritual and political realms under his divine authority. By doing so, we align with Jesus' teaching that God's will should be done on earth as it is in heaven. And I'm going to prove it to you through scripture. I want you to open up your Bibles because the biggest trick that the devil could have told you is to stay out of politics. The biggest trick the devil could have told you is that it does not matter. It does not make a difference. Don't mix the state with the church. Don't mix the governor with the church. Don't mix the, the, the politics and all of that. Stay out of it. And the reason behind it was somebody came up with the idea that the governing systems that's supposed to be in place by God should not have any input on what churches do and what religions people have and what they serve. That is far from the kingdom of God and his principles. So I want you all to go ahead and I'm about to take you through scripture because I want y'all to follow me with this. We get ready to uncover some things. Hopefully this will give you a clear understanding. All right. So I want y'all to go to Matthew 28, 18. The first point we're going to understand is that Jesus has authority over both heaven and the earth. In Matthew 28, 18, this is what Jesus declares. Watch what he says. He says, I have been giving all authority in heaven and on earth. Okay. He says this authority is not limited to just our personal lives, right? Or just our spiritual gathering. It extends in every realm, including politics, including government. If Jesus is Lord, and we say this as believers, with over 270 million people out of the 300 plus million people that are in the United States, over 200 million profess to be Christian. So listen to what it says. If Jesus is Lord over all, how then can we believe the lie that his influence should not extend into the laws of the land? You got to understand something. Jesus' authority is comprehensive, covering every aspect of our lives including our governance now watch this the prayer that jesus prayed y'all remember the prayer our father watch this which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thou kingdom come thou will be done what in the earth as it is where in the heavens let me prove something to you right here so jesus taught us the prayer thou kingdom come thou will be done in earth as it is in heaven this is not just a prayer watch this for our personal righteousness but a call for God's divine order to be established here on earth. God's will, his principles, and his laws, watch this, are meant to guide not just our hearts, but the nation as well. Y'all remember the pledge? We pledge one nation under God. Look at the Pledge of Allegiance that we stand up to. One nation under God. So how do Obama get the opportunity, because he started this, to stand up and say, we are no longer a Christian nation, but we are many, many different religions under this nation. Oh, no, 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 no. That was the first trick of the devil. He made somebody that looked like the skin that you were. Get up there and tell you a false narrative and begin to open the gate that we see. Wide is the gate to destruction. Very broad is the gate to destruction. The Bible says many go in that gate. He said very narrow is the path to life. It's called the straight gate. And he said only few find that path to life. 